Tim, welcome to our channel and thanks for logging on. Today we're discussing the Blancpain 50 Fathoms Flyback Chronograph in Stainless Steel. You can see this automatic diving chronograph and purchase it on our website. Subscribe to our YouTube channel if you enjoy these videos and please click on the card in the upper right hand corner of the screen at any time during this video to see our full listing for this watch with additional accessories included, high resolution images and naturally full pricing details. Now on my wrist, 6 and a third inches, 16 centimeters in circumference, this watch should not fit but somehow it does. If you look at the bare measurements, about 15 and a half millimeters thick, 45 millimeters across the round of the case, not including crown guards, crown, or pushers. You would say that on my 16 centimeters, six and a third inch circumference wrist, the watch simply should not fit. It shouldn't look right, it shouldn't fit right, but in fact it does both, and here's why. It's very, very compact from lug to lug. From lug to lug, you're looking at 50.5 millimeters, and because the strap is completely unconstrained, and I'm gonna show you what I mean by that, you can easily pull this rugged strap straight down from the relatively short and close hauled lugs. They thrust down more than they flare out, so the watch wraps itself around your wrist. You can see it really is almost all bezel and case, with the lugs playing a distinctly supporting role in the aesthetics of the timepiece, although a central role, a starring role, one might say, in the ergonomics. Now the strap is made of a remarkably robust material called sailcloth. I can't rip it, you can't rip it, believe me, this is about as tough as a strap gets. You'll also note that on the underside, it has a very smooth and supple rubber applique. So as rugged as sailcloth is, it has even more isolation from the oils, the heat, the moisture of your wrist. And as this is an exceptionally heavy watch, the strap is held in by screws, not spring bars. It's the more secure way of attaching a very heavy sports watch like this to a strap. No chance of this popping off the strap. You'll also note that it has a very deluxe and double deployant steel clasp, beautifully made. When closed, it has a wonderfully low profile. It's extra secure, although it looks like a conventional pin buckle when closed. Nevertheless, it manages to achieve that elegant aesthetic and because it uses the swing arm as a spring, it actually has twin trigger release, so you have to positively release it, can't pop open. Just more security and insurance for this timepiece, and you will want it, because this is one you'll want to keep on your wrist. Incredibly handsome with a fully polished case, and by hand at that. From 2007 to the present, Blancpain has used a rounded, you can see cambered sapphire cap atop the bezels on the 50 Fathoms family. The result is that not only does it have a luster and a gleam that matches that of the dial and is reminiscent of the old acrylic bezels of the vintage 50 Fathoms, but because the sapphire is so hard that it can only routinely be scratched by diamond, Blancpain is able to put it over a fully loomed dial base confident in the knowledge that under the sapphire, the bezel is completely protected. So the fully loomed bezel base glows just as the dial does, and this is one of the few watches that has a fully loomed bezel. Most just have a little luminescent pip at the index at 60. Not so here. A spectacular watch in low or no light. Now the dial itself features an inner disc and an outer hour track over which are placed polished white gold indices inset with loom, white gold broadsword style hands at center. All of the sub-register hands as well are loomed, so this watch is completely functional in the dark. All complications, including chronograph seconds. Extremely handsome lights on or off. It's just that much more special when the lights are on because you can enjoy the full benefit of the flyback chronograph function. Now the flyback chronograph function is a product of the caliber F185 inside. 37 joules, 308 parts. It's based on the 1185 Frederic Piguet. Now a flyback means you can simply reset and restart the chronograph by pushing the pusher at four o'clock. On a conventional chronograph, that would crash the movement damage the watch, not here. The caliber also endows the watch with a very discreet, beautifully integrated date window. You can just see it at six o'clock. It's there when you want it, but because of the small aperture and monotone date disc, it disappears and doesn't spoil the aesthetic or the balance of the dial. It does feature a quick set function thanks to one of the underlying features of the caliber, which is also an automatic winder with a 40 hour power reserve. It beats at 21,600 vibrations per hour, so three hertz. It does have a soft iron anti-magnetic shield around it to protect the movement's hairspring from magnetic flux. It also features, thanks to a screw down crown and a screwed in case back, 300 meter water resistance. It is a true high horology movement too, beautifully finished though you can't see it. This watch has been called a modern classic, a combination of historic design elements dating back to the very first 50 Fathoms in 1953, but with contemporary 
contemporary size engineering and material specification, you can see the best of past and present and maybe part of your future and purchase it on our website.